Is this Vermont or heaven? It's Vlogmas year 11. Good morning, folks. I'm spending a little bit of the morning slicing bread, slicing my sourdough up that I bought that wasn't, you know, originally sliced so that I can have the convenience of just having my bread loaf sliced every day. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like bring this to Virginia with us. So I just figure like might as well get it out of the way. And I'm just showing you at the end of the road. I sliced everything and now I'm gonna put it back in the bag. But yes, good morning, welcome to day 21. I just put up day 20 a little while ago and got all of my work done and whatnot. And I'm gonna shower in a little bit, but I'm just gonna have my avocado bread before that. And then I'm honestly gonna leave the house again. I know I've been leaving like every day to run errands or something like that, but there's always something to do in the days leading up to Christmas. And Finley is busy today, so I have to go and pick up a Christmas present for him down in Massachusetts. So we'll do that later. And I'm not showing my face until I shower because I look gross. Come on, bread. You better work. Come on, girl. Work it, girl. Do a twirl. Do your thing on the runway. Wow, Rue, you really have all of your toys around you. That's kind of fun. Hi, ladies. Is dad getting your little pen all set up for you? And you're gonna have so much fun in there while we're away. Yeah, you can make a lot of new memories in your pen. Tender Christmas memories, my Christmas hogs. Yes, now Ron's gonna take good care of you. Come on, let's go see. Wow. Is this the pig penitentiary? Get it, girls, instead of penitentiary? Well, I actually think it may be still penitentiary because it is a pen. Looks awesome. Let's go check things out all together. Looks like Finley's doing some reinforcements using this pole that was conveniently left here. There had to have been some kind of a outbuilding here because of this pole. This is the only support beam around here. This is your new jail, girls. Jail cell. Rue wants to come in because she knows she needs to be behind bars. So, do you want to give everybody an update? My name's Samuel. <laughs> Samuel. You've done a lot of really great work out here today. How are you holding all of the beams together? Oh my god, that was actually an amazing cartwheel. How are you holding all of this, sorry, this, the walls together? Well, it's not done, so nobody freak out. But I cut these with the chainsaw to make the faces flat, then took these pieces of wood just to give me a little more face to purchase from. Put these through in three inches construction, exterior construction screws through with the washers because this is soft pine and one right through it. Yeah. And then I'll probably end up putting like a second stump up here once I'm done. I just want to get the structure down first. Yeah. And then I'll also need to at least for these log spans. What? That feels good? She That's said she like loved it. Working night. <laughs> it's like a razor blade on her side. It literally didn't even puncture or do anything. Didn't even cut her hair. <laughs> what the fuck? She but, just yeah. loves having a lot of fun and doing stuff like that. Like at minimum, something like, like this isn't actually attached yet. Like if I did this properly, I would have done the string lines and dug out at least little trenches so I could get a flat line here, you know? Yeah. Because like all those gaps are problematic and depending on how many of these spacers I put in between, it may honestly be fine, but... Yeah, they're um, not gonna get under that little thing. Well, they obviously can't get under it, but they can crumple it up, you know, like... The, With their snoot. They'll try to, yeah. so... There's all this wood and shit back here, so I can just take two pieces of wood or whatever shit I find and... Shove it under. Yeah, I mean, screw it to screw it to the metal here so that it's blocking. Yeah. The other thing is, like, I would like to still use these sheets for something else later. Mm -hmm. So, like, putting the whole, like, you know, I could just cut it off here. Like, I don't mind putting as many holes over here as I want. I'll just cut it off here. Then I still have a 24 foot sheet metal. But if I put holes like along the whole stretch of it, then you know, I'd have to deal with all those holes later if I wanted to reuse this. So. Yeah. It actually, like, from the house and stuff, it doesn't even look... I was worried that it would look really ugly, 
but it actually looks just really normal because the shed is also the same material. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it'll look pretty rustic, but it should look a little more cohesive than yeah. like a pallet fence would. And I'm also going to try, like I left this overhang on these corners. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. I honestly am kind of skeptical that I'll be able to, but it'd be great to like fold the corner over and then screw it to here again. Yeah. Then that would be like a really tight, really strong corner. Yeah. So you're propping the doors of the shed open. Like ideally it'd be nice to be able to close them, but I'm just taking that option away basically. Yeah. But it just works nicely because that's a big elevation change for the foundation. So if I can just run it up to the foundation and then meet the edge of the door, it just like blocks it in. Less holes and stuff like yeah. That. So I'll just do the same thing using you know, a board like these that I use. I'll just put that back here and just screw this all together and you know, it should stay and then it'll pull tie in on the entire way to the shed, to the fence and stuff like that. So. Yeah, and to the fence. <gasps> Did she just, I think she's just sunbathing on it. Peachy, you are humongous. Yeah. Larry wants to go in anyways. Yeah. Well, great work, buddy. Great work. Come on, girls. Come on. Sometimes when you're that big of a girl, you just gotta relocate yourself. You gotta realize what you can and can't sit on, Peachy. Yeah, Dad's just working on a pen for you because he loves you so much. No, cra <laughs> <laughs> no crazy hog adventures will be happening while we're on our holiday travels, girls. Wow, not like the last time with Olia. Oh yeah, one time when we went to Virginia and Olia was taking care of the girls at our Oregon house, <laughs> they lifted up the pallets of their wooden fence and they went to go eat her apple tree and she called us being like, well, they're eating my apples in my yard. How do I get them back under the fence? And they were so big at that point that she knew she couldn't pick them up. Hey girls, actually stay out of the basement. Okay, I showered and Finley found his hair cutting scissors and I just cut my bangs again and they are looking a little funny, but it's fine and they're gonna grow out. And also it's like not that big of a deal. I just need them out of my eyes. They were like over my eyebrows into my eyes and I just like, you know, kept cutting them. They look more normal when I'm like this, you know, and not just giving coconut head. I have to go send my plain products empties back. And I also am gonna go pick up a little gift for Finley. And I'm also going to possibly go to a cafe. I don't know. The cafe is a little bit further than where I'm heading, but they are open until eight. So you never know, I might just go. This is my outfit, by the way. Just a little blue sweater, turtleneck, and then my floral pants and long johns underneath. And then I'm also wearing these little slipper booties. I don't know, it's a chaotic outfit today, but I don't care. You can see the little moon over there in the beautiful river I'm parked right in front of. I'm down in Greenfield, Mass, because I came to pick up a little gift for Finley. So I can't take credit for commissioning this for Finley. This is a gift from another one of his family members. And just before we left, they wanted me to pick it up, but they commissioned Eric Dennis, who's a blacksmith here in Greenfield to make this badass mushroom door handle. Oh my God. It's so amazing. Like absolutely iconic. Even this up here looks so cool. I mean like the mushrooms are everything, but just seeing how this is like kind of warped at the top and just the ridges and how it fits in your hand, all of it is just amazing craftsmanship. So yeah. Shout out to Eric, it was a quick pickup. And now I think I'm gonna go get a little Lady Killigrew Cafe. Yeah, it's like 15 minutes more south, but I don't know. I'm just in the mood for it. And I've heard that it's good. So I'm gonna go do that and just explore more of Greenfield today. Maybe if I even pass by an antique store, I might yeet off, you know? I know we're having a shopping day tomorrow, but like I might still do that. So I say I'm doing fine.
Okay, I parked for Lady Kilgrew Cafe, but right next to it is Sawmill River Arts. I'm right by like the Montauk Book Mill as well, so I might just do a little shopping, honey. gift there's like a lot of stuff here like there's a music shop and then this bridge goes up to the upper part of the bookstore and then there's lady killigrew cafe it's just so much i could not have had a more successful trip okay not only did i check my p.o box along the way pick up finley's present get some delicious lunch solo. I love a solo date. I don't always do them, but it was really nice. And I just watched the waterfall and then I went to the book mill and I got some books there. And then I went back to Sawmill River Arts, which is apparently like a artist collective. And they have tons of stuff from like mittens to jewelry to like cool masks and felt products and all of these kinds of things and you know paintings and all that kind of stuff so i went back in and i got one present that i've been looking for for my last person on my list which is just great i got everything done it was a very successful day and i'm just gonna listen to a punk playlist and drive home i was listening to my book but then i was like oh, i really just i have this song stuck in my head it's called Three Years by Young Lincoln. So I started with this because Finley has a playlist called Punk and Titties on his Spotify. And it's just pretty much all punk music, but there are some random things thrown in that are not punk. But this song is so good. And every time we're driving together, I'm always like, do you want to listen to our little Punk and Titties playlist? But there's so many good tunes on here. Elvis Depressly, you know, other fun punk names. So I'm gonna listen to this and head home. Love ya! I'm gonna try to film more of the Christmas lights on my way home, but cute! I love a classic New England light home. Not obsessed with the cool white, but you know, it's just not my vibe. Now this is what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs> they always do it up so big around the farm table restaurant. Kringle Candle Company slaying. Oh, wow. I need to go shopping here. I do love the classic New England light candles in every window. It's some tradition where like, they used to do that because it would help travelers find their way back home. Isn't that cute? More lights. You can see it far over there, but there's a Christmas tree and the fire station is all lit up. Very cute. This house is so cute. They really did it up. Speaking of really doing it up, holy shit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. They even got a manger scene. Yeah. Don't worry about the wood stove. It'll quiet down in a second. I just lowered it to setting number one. But you guys went hard with sending some stuff to my P.O. box. So let's get into a little bit of a mail haul. Okay, Christmas cards first from Mira and Mike, Mookie and Pooter. Oh, wait, what if I called him Pooter this whole time? His name is Porter. <laughs> oh, that is funny. I hope you liked that, Mira. Love you, bestie. Mira is one of my mods on Twitch, even though I haven't been streaming for a while. She's still my mod in my heart, you know? 2024. <laughs> you know, I love a good cat pick. There's nothing better than that. And there's a lot of them on here and they are very handsome. Next, we have a card from 
the Guerreros. This is very cute. Holiday love. Y'all got married this year? Blessings to you. Wishing you the kind of joy and cheer that's merry enough to last the whole year. Love Juan and Keely. Oh my God, I haven't heard the name Keely in so long since where I grew up in Georgia. It says at the top, feel free to share in a vlog if you'd like. Merry Christmas, Megan, Finley, Rue, Larry, Peach, Ducky, and sweet baby Orstrom. Our family is really getting large. I am so excited for you both as you take this next step into your parenthood era together. Though I have followed you for a few years, I'm normally quite a silent follower slash subscriber, but with your recent announcement of baby O, I felt so called to share this note and share our holiday card as newlyweds with you. I'm a nanny and a birth doula in training and not only love birth, but also care so deeply for new mamas as they navigate pregnancy and birth. I'm thinking of you and baby, and I am only wishing you health and lots of love in 2024. Take care of yourself and keep being you. It's people like you and Finn that make me want to be the best version of me that I can be. Love, Keely. Why is that making me tear up? It's the pregnancy, okay? P.S. You definitely inspired us to do our holiday cards these past few years. Love that for you. We live for a holiday card. Next, we have something from Mandy Tweedlebob. Tweedledoop. Mandy. What the hell? It says Mandy slash Tweedledoop. So that must be her username. I think I'm familiar with your work, Tweedledoop. To Megan, Finn, Baby, Larry, Rue, Ducky, and Peach. I hope your sweet little family is enjoying this holiday season, wishing you lots of rest and tasty treats and all the festive feels. I look forward to your vlogmas every year. It helps me get in the Christmas mood. Thank you for keeping up with it while pregnant. That is no easy feat. Meowie Christmas. Sending lots of love from Canada and all my wishes for a happy and healthy 2024. Love fellow almost mom, Mandy slash Tweedledoop. Am I pronouncing this correctly? It's Mandy, right? I think so. You know what we call that? A major sleigh. <gasps> oh, more love. Merry Christmas from the future Montgomery's. We love an engagement card. Merry Christmas, Megan, Finn, and future baby Orstrom. I hope the magic of Christmas fills every corner of your heart and home with joy now and always. Love, Amanda and Brett. Thanks, friend. Oh, this is a cute one. They're all so cute. <laughs> Merry Christmas from the Ames family. Dalton and Essie 2023. Meg, congrats on the babe. As someone who is also on their mommy journey, I'm so excited by the news. I've been watching since LA, prob before, I think. Love the vlogs always. I enjoy seeing your calm life as a homemaker and also a working lady. I feel like a lot of people try to play up their lives online, but you have always been real and never extra, LOL. PS, never stop showing the piggies and doggies, Essie. <laughs> Cute. Merry Christmas with love, Bridget, Tucker, and Abby. Christmas 2023. <laughs> Cute. Merry Christmas, Megan. I hope you and your family have a great holiday. I've been a subscriber since the beginning. Vlogmas year 11, baby. I had to send you a card with my little babies on it. Congratulations on baby girl. Looking forward to the last few weeks of Vlogmas. Love ya. Love, Abby Strike. Thank you for all of your holiday cards. I'm gonna put them on our ribbon. I actually put a second ribbon here and I've been adding more on there. So I'll do that after this. But while we're having our mail time, I figured why just do Christmas cards when we could do more mail? Cause you guys sent more stuff to my PO box than just Christmas cards. Oh, this one has a Christmas card in it. Oh, this is a cute card. Santa is pink and slaying. Merry Christmas, Meg. Been watching you do life for 10 years and after hearing of every milestone you achieve, I tear up. Oh, I feel like you're my friend even though we've never met. Anyway, I'm an avid thrifter and I had to get these for you. I hope you enjoy and congrats on baby. They will be in the best hands. Cannot wait to see that journey unfold through the internet. Love, Emma. <laughs> Their at is idiot boy. <laughs> What's in the newspaper? Ooh, you know that I collect these. Oh my God, cute. Hold on, I'm gonna open the second one and then I'll show you. From one avid thrifter to the next, this was an iconic find. These are little tiny cow salt and pepper shakers with Vermont on them. It says Vermont, the green mountain state. Oh my God, and do you see their eyes? They have googly eyes, <laughs> but like not, you know, the craft googly eyes. They're different. 
Anyway, thank you so much. I appreciate this. I'm gonna put them on my shelf. All right, next we have something from Maisie and Pat from New Hampshire. I'll tell you, whoever sent this really knows how to seal a package and seal a card because I can't find the seams on any of these things. I'm gonna have to tear right through them. Merry Christmas from Maisie and Pat. Cute little card. I'm at Maisie Cooks on Insta. Dear Megan and Finley, Merry Christmas. We're sending all, you have amazing penmanship. I just, I got distracted. Look at this, absolutely incredible. Really clean. I could never. Sending all the love to you this holiday season and wish all the happiness and health to your sweet growing family. Seeing your new life in Vermont has been so amazing to watch, especially for two New England natives like us. We both live in New Hampshire and we watch Vlogmas every single night. We also have completely fallen in love with VT and dream of living there one day. It's so different from New Hampshire and is full of so much life. It is so evident how much you both cherish your life there and all of the joy you bring with you. P.S. When we saw these tiny pigs, we instantly thought of Ducky and Peach and knew you needed to have them. Love ya, Maisie and Pat. Tiny pigs? This lucky little piggy is unique and that's not all. With just three legs to stand upon, you'd think he would fall. Instead, he brings good fortune to all who hold him near. Keep him close for lots of luck, happiness, and good cheer. This charm may be carried in a pocket, held, or placed on a shelf. I'm editing this in afterwards because I could not find the little piggies that she sent for the life of me. And I felt so bad. I was like, sorry, Maisie, I can't find them. And then I was sitting on them the whole time. They had just fallen between my legs on this chair. These are the little three-legged piggies. They're very cute. Oh, they're really tiny too. I'm gonna put them in our windowsill here. Thanks. Last package, and I know who sent it. Queen Amy from Canada. She told me she was sending this. Okay, this is for both Meg and Finn. Season's greetings. Someone said my name? Yes. <laughs> she sent wow. this, which was one of our emotes on Twitch. Go to horny jail. Bonk. And the fortune teller miracle Can fish. I do it? Can I do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what's in there? You've never seen this. No, what is that? Fortune teller fish. Place fish in palm of hand and its movements will tell you. <gasps> Whoa, it totally curled up on itself. Curled up and rolled around. It means you're fickle. Hey, fuck you, fish. What the <laughs> fuck? What about me? <laughs> what about me? Okay, no, uncurl. <laughs> uncurl. You'll I don't want the same fate you. as him. Dear Megan Finley, Peanut, the dogs, and the hogs, Merry Christmas and congrats again on the pregnancy. Watching yours and Finley's story unfold has been a beautiful journey and now the time has come where you're gonna be parents and you two are going to be the best parents ever. Maybe. I can't wait to see this new chapter unfold. What? You totally lied, that's curling sides. Yeah, it curled up. No, the sides didn't curl. It curls either up entirely or moving head and tail. Oh, curling up entirely so means I'm you're either passionate. either in love or passionate or possibly passionately in love. <laughs> wow. Lil Peanut is going to be so loved. I honestly still can't believe you're pregnant. After watching your videos for years, it's amazing to see how far you've come and I couldn't be happier for the life you've created for yourself. In this box, I've included a lot of gifts. It's my lug, my lug language, <laughs> my love language. The macrame feather and crystal keychain are made by yours truly. Oh. You could even put them on a string around the crystal keychain and hang it from your rear view mirror, which is what my friend and I did with ours. I also, of course, had to add in the baby stuff once I found out. I hope you enjoy the gifts. Keep being the most incredible light in the world. Amy M, your Canadian bestie. Wow. This is Amy from Animal Crossing. Yeah, Amy from Animal Crossing, you already know. Docks and socks. Wow, more docks and socks. Wait, are these ones for? These ones are for you. Mine are even cooler color than yours. Too. <gasps> oh my god. We already have one of these little guys on our tree. We have two of these little mice. And this one has a mushroom. Oh my god. Perfect. 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 He's holding a little mushroom. And she sent us Canadian candy. Can I have one? Yes. Mars bar. Mars. What's that? Arrow. There's more. You don't have to choose just that. What's it? <gasps> Coffee crisp. Can I have that one? <laughs> Very eager. Candy. Candy. Can you do a brew? No. Cadbury Caramilk. I'm trying to get a good view. <laughs> Made with Love by Amy. Little macrame keychain. So cute. 
baby stuff. What's this? Pacifier oh, clip. So cute. Good job, baby. And teether in one. Wow. That's awesome. We're teething meat style. Tiny teethers. She sent three baby onesies. What's this one? Oh, it's farm life. Farm life onesie. Little gray striped onesie. Sheepy onesie. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. That's really sweetie pie. Are these for, what are they? Gerber's zero to three months for newborn. And then, oh, a swaddle, a muslin swaddle. Thank you. You know I love a good swaddle. This one has sunshines on them. And lastly, oh, actually, this is not lastly. But good job, Canada. <laughs> good job, Canada. Rue and Larry, these are for you. Original Squishmallow dog toys. They're a little, oh, Rue. <laughs> She wants to try them out. Okay, I'll cut them out. You can have them. Okay. <laughs> Do you see her lighting up? These are for you from Amy. Will you put her down and I can toss her? Woo! That's a lot of fun. Then she sent Olive and Bramble Co. sticker. Focus on this beautiful scene, please. Thank you, Gorge. And lastly, something in here, in a tiny little Tinker Tom pouch. You want the light on? Um, sure. Whoa, that actually made it so much better. Sorry, wow. I remember when you started making these, Amy, and putting them on our Discord Arts and Crafts page. Very, very cool. Can I see one time? Thank you, friend. So cool, good job, Amy. <laughs> he has chocolate on his face. Good job, Canada. <laughs> This is great. Wow. I have a lot of trash around me now I need to get rid of and a lot of gifts to sort and find homes for. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I'm gonna hang up all of your Christmas cards and put away all these little presents. What a thrill! I'm gonna do the fortune teller fish now. It didn't curl up entirely. I don't know, is this curling up entirely? I think this means I'm passionate. Okay, Finley doesn't have his headphones in in the other room, so I'm just gonna show you one of his presents. Don't come out of that room, baby. Don't even think about coming out of that room. Yeah, the police are out here and they're armed. So don't even think about trying them. This is another one of Finley's presents. If you know, you know. This is a collective gift. Today we're gonna do a little Pokemans. He's been having a little trouble seeing today, so I'm hopefully you can see it. Oh, he sat on a pillow. Oh God, I can't see anything. Oh, I've been having trouble seeing today. 21. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Ah, fuck. <laughs> tiny booster. How they go? Uh... Do you think that they give tiny boosters to tiny tutors? The tiny. Tiny man. Bramblin! I actually really like that guy. It's a ghost bramble. He's a good guy. Qfint just found a shiny one. Yeah, I know you're jealous. I'm gonna start calling you that. Delivery drone. What is with these fucking shiny trainer cards? Item cards, nobody wants you, bro. Like, be a Pokemon. Be a Pokemon or get out. I'm officially done with all of my wrapping here in Vermont before we head to Virginia. These are all the things I've wrapped. <laughs> so many of them. They look awesome. I love how they look together as well with the wrapping paper and the brown paper. Yeah, I have two more gifts waiting for me in Virginia for my mother-in-law and I'm just gonna wrap those when I get there because I like mailed them there because they were kind of like last minute shipping. And I think that's it. One more for Finley as well that hasn't arrived. But other than that, these are all my presents. Yay! I didn't show me wrapping some of the ones because I just feel like I've been showing a lot of wrapping, but they look really cute. And I love the yellow bows. It's like the perfect addition this year. Hey there, ho there, y'all. I'm sitting in a little chair because I want the lumbar support. Things are about to get crazy, okay? Lindsay and I are gonna have our sister gift exchange via FaceTime, and I'm very excited. We've done this for the past uh, year, I guess. But I'm gonna screen record and make sure that I'm also recording audio, and I'll FaceTime her, and then we can get into the shenanigans. Hi! Hello. 
Lindsay inspired me to Bone Apple tip myself. Can't even see it. Where the hell is it? Oh, thank you. I cut my own bangs today, so hope I don't look too insane. I actually think they looked shorter. They look pretty good. What are you drinking there, honey? It's truly darling. Wow, a truly vodka soda. I know. Pretty good? Yeah, they're pretty good. Your tree looks incredible. Thanks. Do you like the bows and stuff? I do. Bows are in, if you didn't know. I know. A little too, a little too in. But after December, after the holiday season, no more bows. No. <laughs> I want you to go first because you have a couple of things for me. The big one, which is rock, and then the little one that came yesterday, Jared didn't wrap it because explain yourself. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I literally just brought in your like plastic mailer to Finley and I was like, can you open this and wrap it? And he was like, kind of doing something right now. And I was like, could you at least just like put a piece of cardboard around it and I'll tie it with a bow? <laughs> this is her. Oh, that all looks good. He did that? Well, like, he put the brown on it and I put the bow on it and labeled it to Maurice from Lucinda. And then was there another small one? There is one for the whole family, yeah. Yeah, the Orstrom fam. You actually also have one more thing coming from me in the mail and I thought that it was, it was already delivered. Let me actually go and check really quickly on, on her. Arriving anywhere from the 21st through the 25th. Oh, it's, it'll probably be for them. Maybe tomorrow or the next day. Yeah, you can just send me a photo of you in it or open it on the vlog whenever yeah. you get it. It's a, it's a baby bib. <laughs> well, this is good then, so we both have two. The first gift of Christmas. Wait, I also wanted to tell you something funny that it said on the, out, the outskirts of the package. It says, P.S. Lightweight. But I think it was discussing the, the weight of the package, but I thought that it was a note from you or Finley that said, P.S. Did they send me like a bottle of alcohol and like? Yeah, I thought you were like making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I don't feel oh, like God. I am a lightweight. No, you're not. Okay, anyway. Really, the first gift of Christmas. <gasps> Stop! <laughs> Wait, it's a bow. I know. <laughs> it's for, is it for my? Is it for my apron? It is for your aprons. Apron? I know how. Yes. We were just saying how bows are out, but I actually thought it would be really cute in your house. Even... I was just saying they were out in the sense of, like, posting them everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll post this, honey. Well, thank God. Okay, so I know that you had that on your list, and I don't... I didn't okay it with anybody for... so... Well, I have two aprons, so if I get another one, I'll just post the bows. Exactly. I was like, honestly, even if she gets one, like, another hanger or something, you could, like, use it for anything. An Etsy sleigh. I love Etsy. <laughs> Me too, honey. Oh my god, I'm really excited. Do you think you can open your small one now? Yeah. Oh, I love the ribbon. What a great touch by me. So wait, is it the right one? It's not the one for just you, right? This is the one for just me. Can you open that one second? Yeah. Sorry about the bow removal. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. What'd you say? No, I didn't see anything. Okay, All I did was take the bow off, but it's still like wrapped in a layer of something, you know? I'm really excited about this one. Actually, wait, it came with a note. Should I read the note? Can you read the note maybe after? After? Okay, okay, okay. I don't remember what I, what I wrote. Oh my God. Bun in the oven 2023. <laughs> Stop. Okay, do it up close. Does it say what everyone's name is? Yeah, it does. It says Larry, Rue, Meg, Finn, and Baby, and we're all little snowmen, and, but I'm pregnant. <laughs> oh my god, I love it! Oh my god, I'm gonna put it right on the tree. I thought this was so silly and cute. I had to make Larry and Rue the mini snowmen. Hope this completes your tree this year. Love, Auntie Lindsay. Oh so my god, cute. That was a good note. I forgot I wrote that. <laughs> 
Oh my god, it's so perfect. I'm gonna put it on the tree right now. You want it up close? Yeah, for like five seconds. Yeah, and you're like, I don't know, it'll come to life however it comes to life. It could not be more wonderful. Oh, that's so cute. I know. Look at the cheese has bun in the oven 2023. Look at the, my butt in the oven from the side. It's very <laughs> bodacious. Wait, you really popped up. <laughs> I also did in real life, honey. <laughs> it's true. I'm going to put it on my tree right above the ultrasound. Yeah, I got this one from um, Sasha when we went to Rhode Island. So I do have like Merry Christmas 2023 with us announcing the baby. But other than that, I mean, I, I don't foresee anybody giving us more. I also, you know, it's not like we're really an ornament family. Like some people are really obsessed with ornaments. They get like a new one every year or like, you know, they just have their things, but that's not me. You appreciate a nice ornament. I do. Yay! Found one! Yeah! Thanks, Lucinda. That was great. Okay, wow, well. the big gift is kind of for you and Jared. Should I make him come over? Um, you don't have to make him do anything, but he'll probably see it, you know, from his peanut gallery. He's literally just laying on the couch watching this entire It's fine. It's great. Well, this is just very exciting. Yeah. It's very nicely wrapped. Did you do it? Jared did it. Go off, Jared Santa. He is pretty good at wrapping after he watched the tutorial video last year. Yeah, I remember you talking about that in Vlogmas. He had a big improvement. <laughs> well, it's a very big ball, so it's gonna be good. Yeah. <laughs> No, he didn't tell me anything. You didn't? No. We actually had two pairs of sheets go bye-bye in the last like month and a half. Oh my God. Well, perfect timing. So those are from our favorite sheet brand, Garnet Hill, and they're really cozy flannel sheets. <gasps> so for like winter and stuff, they're just so soft. They're really soft. It feels like boxer shorts. Yeah, really nice. <laughs> And I also, I, I looked at kind of like photos of you guys' room too and videos and stuff. And I was like, I think that these will match, you know, and not be like out of place. Yeah, could I get a close up of, of the color scheme? That's nice. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. And they're like neutral enough too that they're not like crazy. Totally. And I got the, um, the king sized ones. Oh, that's what we got, honey. You know yeah. what we got. Yeah. Well, I did ask King Julian about the size of the bed. I thought that you might have a California king because King Julian is very long. <laughs> he needs the California king. His you know, always flopping off at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure. So I needed confirmation, hey! you know? Does it come with pillowcases too? Yeah, it does. Oh my god. I'm literally putting these on tomorrow. <laughs> Baby, they just opened their Garnet Hill sheets. I got them. Wow. Yes, they're so soft. He's the one who put me on to them. Well, how did he find out about the show? He. Sure he literally, like, this was back in LA. I went over to his apartment and he had like floral pink and blue flannel sheets. And I was like, wow, these are really cute. And he was like, thank you. I researched them forever on Reddit. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. I guess he like found a thread of like all these girls who like rate and um, rank flannel sheets and he trusted their opinion and he went ahead and bought a pair for himself. Exactly. You can't trust men with bedding. They, don't, they always just have navy sheets or chocolate brown and yeah. like one single yellow pillow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he still kept his yellow pillow, but at least he has the sh good sheets. <laughs> Do you want to see? Thank you so much. This was a perfect surprise. We literally like only have one pair of boring sheets now. You know, just it's really, nice. really it's exciting. Really convenient that their sheet. They just needed to get upgraded sheets. Look at we the really did. I thought Jared might have told wow. you that we had a sheet. Um, wow, all 
custom. Bun in the oven 2023, he's getting a good peek. That's great, Linz. Thank you. It's a real classic. We'll be pulling that out for decades to come. Yeah, our kids will see it. You'll always remember your first bun. Yeah. Just like whenever we would decorate the tree and we would see two bub or something like that from Uncle Paul. Right. Actually, it's kind of that same guy. Yeah. It looks like it. Okay, I'm gonna open my next one from you. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Do you know what it is? I think I just saw something on the outside. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I feel like I'm proposing. Oh my God. <laughs> she went to Jared. Wait, hold on. I can't find the charm. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh my God. She's very simple, small and eleganza. I wasn't expecting her to be so dainty and Gorgina. Look at this. Oh my God, it's beautiful. This is exactly what I wanted. A gorgeous everyday moon necklace. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on right now, I don't even care. Do you know who has that necklace? No. Rebecca Pearson. Rebecca Pearson, yeah, 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 from, um, from This Is Us. I just, it's kind of funny, we've been rewatching it, and like, yeah, there, I think there's like a whole episode about what Jack gets for the necklace, and then she literally wears it every day. Yeah. Well, what's so crazy is when I added it to my Christmas list, a lot of the listing on Etsy's on Etsy were like, uh, this is a moon necklace. Oh, really? Yeah. And I was like, I kind of forgot about that, like part of the storyline. But then again, I stopped, you know, watching a little while ago. So, I mean, I finished no, whatever. I forgot about it too. Wow. Good. I'm feeling very oh. gorgeous about this. Thank you so much. It's really tiny, but. It's, no, it's perfect. Know. It's perfect. It couldn't be better. I mean, when people look at it, they'll be like, is that a, a little a tiny moon? And I'll be like, yes, it is. Thank you for inquiring. It's the toenail moon. Yeah, it's always the toenail moon, never anything else. Thank you so much. Um, so you do have one other thing from me that's like, you know, in the mail, which you'll get and I told you about. But then also I wanted to tell you um, didn't, I didn't know how to deliver this gift to you. It's not bad news, it's good news, it's another present. I wanted to give you the cottage core pack for The Sims because it's amazing and I love that one and I know how much you play The Sims. I need it. But I, I didn't know if you, cause there's like, you can gift through Steam or you can gift through like the EA store or sims.com or whatever. So I was like, I don't know which one she uses to like download her software. So I was thinking I could like send you the money on Venmo and you buy it tonight. Okay, I was gonna play after this. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that sounds so great. Is that the one with like the horses? Yeah, well, it's not horses. It's, um, you can have a milking cow and then I think it's like you either have a cow or something. You can also have chickens. Okay. And then, um, the well, the town is the best part. Cause like, it's like a different kind of like, it's kind of like tavern vibes, you know, like more cottage oh core. Like I'm really excited to go into town because one of my sims is a kleptomaniac and she's been running out of things to steal. Cause she goes and steals everything and it's really running dry in the, in the town. She'll have to like go to all the neighboring farms or something like that. Like, that would be really rude. From their garden. I'm sorry, it's only what I do in the Sims, okay? <laughs> I'm really glad to have another avenue for your klepto sim to be able to explore. And also just for you to play it because that's seriously like my favorite pack. It's so freaking cute. There's so much that you can garden and like the decor is just adorable. Like it unlocks so many things. Truly a thrill. Well, do you want to say any final words to Vlogmas? Yes, I'm sorry I haven't been able to grace you with my presence this year in person. <laughs> That's what I really wanted to say. Well, I just want to tell you guys. <laughs> I love you, and that's all that pretty much can think of. <laughs> Merry Christmas, honey. <laughs> Merry Christmas, one and all, honey. And I just want to say to all of you out there watching. Wait, wait, wait. I got something. I just want to say. <laughs> what do you want to say? I just want to say. What do you want to say? Merry Christmas, baby. Wow. <laughs> That's an inside joke. But Bruce Springsteen and us. 
Bruce knows. Sorry. Sorry, if you've never met Bruce in person, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't understand. Bruce gets it. He gets us. Well, <laughs> I love you very much. Bone apple tit to you and yours. So deranged. Love you guys so much. Have a fantastic rest of your evening. And I'll talk to you very soon. Love you. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Lance. That was incredible. And I got my tiny little moon, honey. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's everything I wanted and more. This is where Larry was for the entire gift exchange. So sleepy, buddy. You love the new sheets. Okay, what's under day 21? Oh, is it caramel? It's caramel. Bon appetit. I'm eating an extremely chaotic late dinner and editing the vlog so far. Okay, guys, it's almost one o'clock in the morning and I have to hit the hay because I watched this whole vlog back. Finley's asleep, by the way, next to me, so shh. But I watched this whole vlog back and I'm like, oh my god, it's 45 minutes. Wow. I knew it would be long, but with everything.